right, just one more day of dealing with this nonsense until we can finally leave. Well, I guess it's time to tell the chickens. Well, not really. Let's do this. Hey, chickens, get in here right now. We have to talk to all of you. Hey, what's going on, Miss Peepers? Well, I have a surprise for you guys tomorrow morning, all of us. And that will require you guys to wake up at 5 a.m. So it'll be worth it, though. And, yeah, I just want to say we're all going to celebrate our birthday, except for Falcon. We even celebrate your birthday, Waldo. We have something big planned for you coming up this week. Just please tell Falcon we're not celebrating him. This is our day, but he's still coming along with us. I'm not going to give you any hints. Just go back to what you're doing now and pretend that this never happened. Man, I sure do wonder what we're actually doing tomorrow. Hey, Lovey, isn't it completely obvious? We're obviously going to go down to, like, our favorite restaurant and, like, sit there the entire day. Well, that makes sense, BCT. I mean, it does, kind of. But I'm thinking a bit more broad, okay? What do you... I wonder what Falcon thinks they're gonna do. He's probably gonna think we're going to an all-you-can-eat McDonald's buffet or something like that. Wow, that's crazy. Meh, I could honestly care less, to be honest. I bet I would have a lot more fun going down to local McDonald's in Lovey Hills and spending the entire day there while also spending my entire life savings there than doing whatever Mrs. Peepers is planning on letting us do tomorrow can't be anything exciting and definitely not worth waking up at 5 30 for oh wow i'm honestly a bit hyped like yo let's go i can't wait to do whatever mrs peepers is planning on doing tomorrow it's probably gonna be something crazy something that falcon probably will not like at all which is even crazier It's morning time, bro. I hate waking up this early. Actually, you know, I love waking up this early, you know? Let's, let's go get everyone up. Let's get everyone ready. And it's time to tell, and I'll tell them to meet in the kitchen so we can tell them where we're going. They will be so hyped when we find out we're going to Key West in four hours. Hey, chickens, could you do me a favor and go to the kitchen? That's where I'll tell you what we're doing today. Sounds good by me. Just tell everyone else to give everyone a text. Give the group chat a text, okay? <clears throat> Alright, chickens, well, I guess you want to know where we're going today and what really made you guys wake up at 5.30. Well, trust me, this is going to be worth it. And then on the count of three, I'm going to reveal what we're doing today. Three, two, one. Well, guys, for the last couple months, ever since we got that big storm room on Christmas, I've been planning out a, a five-day vacation to Key West, Florida. But there's one thing that's going to require a 15-hour direct flight from the airport. And the flight leaves in about six hours, so we have to get everything ready. So get ready, go pack your bags, and get everything you need for this vacation. I've been planning this for months, so you guys better say thank you when we all get into the same car. We're getting into my car, and then we're going to drive there, okay, guys? Well, lovey, what do you think we should bring? Well, I don't really know. We should bring, obviously, some, like, you know, change of clothes, like, very obviously. And I also think we should bring our computer. You know, that's not actually a bad idea. We should also bring our camera for sightseeing reasons, and you know what? Of course we gotta bring some other things too. Let's see, what else can we put in this suitcase? That way we can add more space. <coughs> well, you know, I guess it would be fine if we just, you know, maybe added this like microphone into there. I don't know, let's let's go. Hey, Mrs. Peppers, do you think we can go down to McDonald's so I can bring a stock ply of McDonald's onto the airplane? Falcon, you moron. That's not how planes work. You're not even allowed to bring outside food into the airport, let alone on the airplane, you idiot. Either way, though, we're not going to McDonald's, even if that was a rule, so uh, keep dreaming, you little moron. Alright, do we have everyone's suitcase here? We have mine, Falcon's, BCT and Lovey's is right there, and Waldo's is right there. I think we are all good to go, yo. Let's tell them again the code. All right, chickens, get in the car right now, and we're all going into my car. No one else is taking any other car because of the parking spots at the airport. So get into my car right now. Let's go. All right, chickens, and we are off. All right, we're going to go pull in, get some breakfast at the airport, guys. You guys can wait. Now, how long until we get to the airport? Well, um, maybe like 30 or so minutes. It's right off of Highway 63, so like, maybe like 15 minutes, 20 minutes from this Grey Clots house. You know, I remember the Christmas incident with the airport chickens? Oh yeah, it was just like, it took them like 30 minutes to get there. 
No, they had their Uber driver go like 50 over the speed limit or something like that. You think we can stop at the McDonald's over down there? Oh, Falcon, could you shut your mouth for one minute about McDonald's? Not everything around this world revolves around eating 30 Big Macs a day. You, you don't understand the qualities of having that many Big Macs a day. Falcon, wait, wait till type 4 diabetes comes into the picture. You'll, you'll never know about my side hustle, though. Falcon, you're what? You're actually making money? No way. What, what do you do? Um, BCT, don't tell Mrs. Peepers that I, that I resell Big Macs on the black market. You resell what? On the black market, Falcon? What do you do? I mean, I'm not surprised, but what? Falcon, you're an idiot. And that is how you are going to get detained at the airport. That's the final straw. You're on thin ice, buddy. If you break that thin ice, man, you're out. Evicted. You better behave well on this vacation, or else there will be serious consequences. Anyways, we're pulling into the airport right now, guys. Now, no more talking about side hustles that are highly illegal, Falcon. Hey, you never know a, a nice way to make some money. Shut up, Falcon. Get your stuff. Alright, uh, Mrs. Peepers, uh, why do I not see an airport over by here? Great question, BCT. Well, right now we're in a parking lot. We're waiting for a tram to arrive over here. So we will be driven into the airport, and they should be coming here by around 6.05 a.m., and it's 6.02. So get ready to get on the tram, everyone. Um, what are we going to do about the car, though? It's going to be here. We already reserved this parking spot, so this car will basically be in this parking spot for the next, like, five or six days or so. So uh, that would be kind of cool. All right, I guess that's pretty cool. I don't know, to be honest. All right, guys, we gotta go. The, the bus is here. Go, 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 go. We, we need to get on right now. Get all your stuff on there right now, okay, guys? All right, chickens, what gate are you guys going to right now? Well, we're going to, um, going to, what was it called? We're going to, oh, my God, chickens. How much are you going to keep rambling before we finally get the answer? Oh, yeah, we're going on Lovey Air. Hey, that's me. Lovey, shut up. Anyways, we'll, we'll get you to that gate in about five or so minutes. Anyways, enjoy your ride. Alright, <clears throat> so Falcon, would you care to elaborate about your side hustle? Oh god, y'all have a side hustle back there? Hey, don't get into our business. Okay, fine. Um, alright, so I started it like a week ago. And how much have you made? Like, $25. Let me guess, you use all that to, to put back into your business to get more Big Macs. Shut up, Mrs. Peepers. We already know I put that into an investments account, which I use to invest for Big Macs. Falcon, you're $65,000 in debt. You owe so much money to the IRS, bro. Come on, bro. Get your funds up. I'm not going to keep housing a criminal like you. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be that surprised if you get arrested when we're down there in Florida. I wouldn't be that surprised at what I'm saying right now. It's foreshadowing. Mrs. Peepers, I'm really great at covering up my tracks. Falcon, you just admitted to a crime. Shut up before you get into serious trouble. All right, chickens, you guys are at the gate. All right, thanks for the ride, man. You're very much welcome. All right, Falcon, you better not say anything stupid or else there will be some very serious consequences that will come alongside with that. All right, guys, we just need to find our gate. <clears throat> Do you remember what flight we were taking, Mrs. Peepers? Bro, I, it was the one who planned out this vacation. Of course I know which gate we're at. We are at gate 67D. All right, then. Is there any other steps? Because I haven't been to an airport since I was seven years old. Well, lovey, there is. You have to go through TSA. Oh, great. How is Falcon going to fare to the security check? I wonder. I really do wonder. Like, it's probably going to go horribly for him. He All you got to do is hope and pray that nothing goes bad for him. He probably has a couple Big Macs stuffed in his pockets for all we know right now. Dude, how long is this line? Oh, do you not know what airport security is? Oh yeah, I haven't been out here since I was seven. You're right, lovey. You've not been here for a while. You clearly don't understand how long you have to wait in these lines. Well, how long do you think it is? Probably like 15 minutes at worst. It goes fairly quickly, unless they spot something that they don't like, which can be anything. So here's the thing. When you get there, you're going to want to take off your you want to take off your jacket, you want to empty all your pockets of anything metal, so that includes phones, anything like that. Then you want to put them in the, you know, on the plastic thing, I don't know what it's called. Wow, Mrs. Peepers, 
Hey, shut it, Falcon. You probably wouldn't know what it's called either. Well, um, hey, I caught you red-handed not knowing what to call it, Falcon. Now just shut up and don't get involved. I'm trying to explain what we're going to do. But yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to empty out all our pockets of everything. And there's not going to be any water. You have to get water at the airport. You have to fill up your water bottles. They have to check that sort of stuff. And then we have pretty much... That's it. That's pretty much it. And we're going to get to gate 67D and then the plane will take off at around 10.15 a.m. All right, chickens, you see this plastic bin on the floor right there? Yeah, we don't do conveyor belts anymore. What I want you guys to do <clears throat> is put it in there, and then I'll put it through the system and make sure there's nothing fishy in there. And also, in that bin, I want you to put everything that's in your pockets and everything else in there. So uh, go do that real quick. All right. Well, what I'm not going to ask you to do is I want you to go through those systems right there to make sure you don't have anything um, suspicious on you, and then you will be good to go. All right, may I first see your airplane tickets? All right, dang, you guys are going all the way down to Key West. All right, what's go Hang on, I think I recognize you. Are you Mrs. Peepers? Yeah. Rogue, is that you? Yeah, I've been working at this airport security job for like the last like 10 years, yo. All right, all right, all right. You guys can go through the system, and if I spot anything fishy, I'll tell you. All right. Hey. Hey. Big Mac build over there. I think I found something in your pockets that you're not supposed to have over there. Don't call me Big Mac build. Well, shut up. You're dead built like one. That was not a funny roast, Rogue. I bet... <clears throat> I bet if I roasted you over a fire, you'd turn into a Big Mac. Alright, enough Big Mac talk, guys. What did you find in this pocket? We found a moldy Big Mac in his pocket that he didn't take out. Falcon, you disgraceful little piece of... I'm gonna stop you right there, Mrs. Peepers. You do not know the, the decency to have any of them in your pockets. Falcon! You are just so stupid. You're irresponsible, man. Get, we're gonna have to throw out your jacket here, and we're gonna have to get one, get you a new one at the airport. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, guys, we found our gate. Let's go in and do a little bit of waiting. All right, chickens, listen up. I already know what we're doing today. We're gonna, you guys have first class tickets, except for Falcon. Everyone but Falcon will be getting in first. Falcon, you're gonna have to wait until they like, call you for the very end of, of the run. We got you horrible tickets because you wouldn't pay for the rent. You really made these chickens pay for the tickets? Of course I did. I make them pay for everything. They even pay their own rent. And yet you're the only one that looks here free. I would be crazy. I, would be, I wouldn't be that surprised if you get evicted by the end of this vacation, to be honest. All right, chickens, you want to go down there, and then you're gonna watch your step while you get in there. So all of us have like ridiculously close front seats. Falcon, you have the very, very, very back seat, so you can't bother us for the entire ride. Sucks for you. All right, chickens, listen up. There's gonna be a ding that's gonna come over the intercom, and then it'll tell you everything you need to know. Oh wait, there it is. There it is. Listen up, guys. Hi everybody, and welcome aboard Lovey Airlines, and today we are going to be flying you down to Key West, which will be an approximately 12 or so hour flight, all the way here from Lovey Hills to Key West, Florida. Yeah, that's going to be a big flight. We've done this many times. I am, as you probably know, I am Captain Puff. I am a pretty well-renowned captain over here, so you guys will be safe. If for some reason you we lose oxygen or pressure don't fear you will not die there will be oxygen masks will come at the disposal of the plane so that way you will be safe unless you're like falcon over there in the bay back hey you, you won't be you will be surviving that if there's a plane crash and you're in the really far back screw you you're not going to survive but if you're in the front you will, actually i'm joking i'm joking anywhere where there will be lifeguards underneath not lifeguards i'm stupid life jackets underneath the seat so uh get ready everybody uh this flight will be crazy there will be food served to everyone breakfast lunch and and even dinner will be served to everyone excluding the the lowest level of economy so enjoy your flights everyone man that's crazy bro he just dissed falcon so hard bro what's he gonna get probably like a probably like a can of peanuts at best what do you think we're gonna get? And we're gonna get full on meals. I paid two thousand dollars for 
y'all's tickets and I made you guys contribute at least 1,000 to it so that actually no I'm joking I'm joking I'm playing with you I never took any y'all money out but I did still pay 2,000 for y'all's tickets Falcon's ticket was like $200 I tried to get him an even cheaper one but they don't have these on these pl on these planes unfortunately All right, bro. It's only 12:30 p.m. right now. I am going insane. I have literally just clicked refresh 20,000 times. There's nothing I can do back here, bro. <clears throat> I wonder what I can get for a lunch. Here, I'll call over them. <clears throat> yes, how may I assist you? Hi, uh, yes. Can I get a lunch, bro? You're an economy. You ain't got nothing. Here, but I can assist you by giving you a cookie or two, maybe. Ooh, a cookie, what do they look like? Um, you'll see. Oh, cool, I'm gonna get food. But it's only a cookie, that sucks. Anyways, um, I wonder what Mrs. Peepers is doing. Can't go up there, though, it's stupid. Ah, uh, yes, I sure do love sitting in first class seats with all my chicken friends. Yeah, this is crazy. How are you doing back there, BCT? Well, I mean, I've just been watching the news, and I've uh, been watching YouTube pretty much the entire flight. It's going well. The free Wi-Fi back here, not so free anymore. It's really nice up here. I love it, not gonna lie. <clears throat> yeah, me too over here, lovey. You're not alone. Now, just don't use up all the airport, the airplane Wi-Fi, or else, um, I don't know, you'll be bored. Well, that's not gonna happen. The airplane has decent Wi-Fi, I must say. Better than whatever Falcon has back there. Yeah, how's it, go how's it going back there? He just texted me complaining about how, complaining about how, like, you know, he doesn't get any food and how he got, quote, the worst cookie of his entire life. Not gonna lie, if I attached a cookie to a string on a treadmill, he'd probably chase it. Bro, BCT, you didn't have to do him dirty like that, you know? You, you could have been a little bit nicer on that one. But it's okay, it's fine. I already have something crazy planned from down in Florida that he's not gonna like a lot. Oh man, that's gonna be nasty. That's gonna be nasty for him, bro. He is a nasty rooster. He's really annoying. Yo, this this five star Gordon Ramsay gourmet meal is crazy, bro. This is one of the craziest meals I think I've ever had in my entire life. And craziest part, it's on an airplane. Attention all chickens aboard the Lovey Airlines flight right now. We have approximately 40 more minutes until we begin our landing in Key West, Florida. So uh, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed your stay on the airplane. We'll be landing in about 40 or so minutes. Um, whether you're going on vacation or you're returning home, it doesn't matter. I hope you had a nice flight. Oh my gosh, bro. I've been just looking at this screen the whole time. Well, what are we going to do after this, Mrs. Peepers? <clears throat> well, what we're going to do is we're going to get Falcon back, of course. We're going to get her stuff. We're going to hop into an Uber. And then we're going to drive to our resort that we're going to stay at. And then we're going to be spending five days there, as I said we would. Well, not surprising, to be honest, bro. This is going to be one of the most craziest vacations I think I've ever been on, bro. You've only been on, like, three vacations before, lovey. We all got to stay home and keep on that grind, you know. Got to get us set up for retirement. <clears throat> Falcon over there could honestly care less well i mean he is the most lazy thing i think i've ever seen well i'm not surprised well chickens here we go we're pretty much at the airport at this point how's it going back there bct you ready for landing oh yeah i've been sitting on the seat although i've had like three five star gordon ramsay gourmet flame and yawns back here I'm, i think i'm good to land at this point well i mean cool let's go Alright chickens, it's like almost 11 o'clock. I just called in an Uber right now. We will be getting there in just a couple minutes. We need to get to the gate and then we're gonna go hop in the Uber and then we're gonna go get to our hotel. I mean, that's pretty cool, I must say. Alright chickens, where are you guys going to? Oh, well, we are going to uh, Falcon is super ridiculously annoying and stupid resort. Alright, that's pretty close to here, so uh, let's go. Hey chickens, do you think this is the right place? The parking lot's empty. We just got a new lot, and by the way chickens, the resort is way back there. You can kind of see it in the distance. Well, what are we going to do tonight? Well, tonight we are going to go to bed. Maybe, just maybe, I might take you out to the <clears throat> resort to go explore, but not for too long. Because then we have to go to bed, because tomorrow we have a lot to do. We gotta go get our rental car, we gotta go <clears throat> and pick up something and i'm also going to see if i can meet an old friend here but i doubt i will be able to who is your old friend 
All right, good old Puff, man. We used to be really close back in um <clears throat> back in late high school, man. But ever since we graduated, I haven't really heard too much from Puff. Other than that, she was gonna that she lives in Key West now, which I guess is pretty cool. Good for her, man. She's probably doing really well in life. Yep, she supposedly also made around nine hundred grand in one year, which is rookie numbers compared to us, but way better than Falcon, that's for sure. I mean, hey, I have an idea. If we meet her here, we could just dump Falcon here. And it's not a horrible idea, to be honest, lovey. Like, you, you, you got the right idea. Let's go in. Hey, what's good, chickens? What's going on? Do you think? Do you know what? Uh, what, do you know what room you guys are checking into? We're checking into a suite on floor 18. <clears throat> All right, that sounds nice. Um, are you 1824? Is that your bed? Is that your room? Oh yeah, that is it. Are you Mrs. Peepers with your group? Lovey, BCT, Waldo, and Dorito. Who is Dorito? Who the, who the heck names themselves Dorito? Oh, I know who did it. Shut up, Falcon. You're not supposed to spoil what I did. <laughs> that, that's crazy, man. You playing your own rooster like that. <clears throat> now, we have a much better rooster here anyway. Dog, it's crazy. Anyways, um, your room is ready. Here's your keys. All right, let's go. Okay, there is absolutely no way this is actually our hotel room, bro. Mrs. Peepers, are you playing with me? This is not our hotel room, is it? Well, believe it or not, this actually is your hotel room. You're going to be staying here for five days. I'm going to show you guys where you're all going to sleep. I already looked at this hotel room and everything, so you guys... So I know everything about this. I know every nook and cranny in here. So, of course, I'll be getting the bed. BCT, you can sleep on that pull-out couch over there that you see in the corner. Um, lovey... There's another pull-out couch that isn't quite visible here, but it's right behind those doors in the back. And, um, Waldo, you can all, you can, there's another, um, bed in another room that you can have. And, Falcon, you're on your own. Maybe you can go down to the local store and pick up some pillows or something like that. But, you're not sleeping anywhere in here, so find a place to sleep. Obviously in the hotel room, but not here. Hey everyone in here, you all need to wake up right now. Wake up everyone, everyone wake up. We have work to do today here. Did you guys forget we were on vacation? Vacation doesn't mean a break from work necessarily. It's a break from work adjacent. It doesn't matter. You guys wake up. It's 7 a.m. You guys have sleep are sleeping in. Wake up. You bums, get up. Let's go now. Yo, Mrs. Peepers, what are we doing on the street so early in this morning? Well, we're about to go pick up our rental car. What did you guys expect us to do? Just sit here, do nothing? Like, we're not doing that at all today. We're going to go shopping later with everyone once we get the car, man. We need to go pick that up right now. So once everything's all said and done, bro, we can then go to resort. the resort. That'll probably be at about, I don't know, maybe... 10 or 11 a.m. I'll probably spend the whole day there. Okay, now that we're here, which car is, is ours? <clears throat> they both look really nice. But I doubt these are ours. Are they, Mrs. Peepers? Um, yes. Believe it or not, that one on the right is. Really, you got an M before, bro? There's no way you're actually giving us that, Mrs. Peepers. We already know Falcon's gonna make a mess in the back of it. Well, he's gonna have to clean that up. Do you think he'll even be able to fit in those back three seats? Who even said there was a third seat back there? I don't even know, to be honest. Wow, Mrs. Peepers, you're crazy. You're going to really let Falcon dirty up that back. No, he could go rent out some old rust bucket back there. I don't know, but yeah, he's, un he's barely going to come in here. He's probably just going to be spending the whole day sleeping. Like, he hasn't even waken up yet. It's literally 8.30 at this point. All right, what do you all say we go get some breakfast? Man, I, I say we do go get some breakfast, Miss Peepers. I'd say it's great. Let's go. Let's go do that real quick. But first, let's hop into here and see how well this works. Oh. 
Oh dang, King Chicken just dropped a brand new project, yo, that's crazy, and it's literally called Falcon Distract with Astral Piano with Chicken Master, yo, I did not know about this. Well, did you know, lovey, we're actually going, and BCT, I forgot you were back there. Wow, Mrs. Peepers, hey, shut up, BCT, we're being very quiet this whole time. Do you want to know one thing we are going to do, though, while we're down here? We're going to be going to see King Chicken in person. Yeah, we're going to be watching an in-person concert. He'll be performing stuff like Falcon Disc Track, That's Crazy, and even one of his unreleased songs that will be releasing, that won't be releasing until May 2024. Wow, we really have to wait two months, but we could just videotape it at the concert. Well, I mean, you could do that, but um, it won't really be accepted. And he just posted that. He's not releasing it in May, he's releasing it right after the concert, so that's really good. I can't wait to meet King Chicken in person. You think he'd respond to us? Oh yeah, definitely. King Chicken responds to all of his fans, man. Wow, that's crazy, man. I can't wait to go see King Chicken in person, man. It's gonna go crazy. Is Astro Piano also gonna be there, same with Chicken Master? Oh yeah, Astro Piano's gonna have a crazy solo. He's gonna be performing some of his music there. When is this? Believe it or not, this is tomorrow night. The concert is gonna be crazy, yo. I cannot wait. All right, chickens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to the rental and then we're gonna go go do some grocery shopping. Yeah, we're gonna do some grocery shopping today. You know, we're gonna do that. Mrs. Peepers, did you just pronounce grocery shopping two different ways? Falcon, shut up, man. You, you probably wouldn't even know how to pronounce it properly anyway. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out the new car. What did you get? Did you get some like 2001 Ford Explorer or something like that, Miss Peepers? Oh no, I got a um, I got a 2021 M4, man. And you are not going to be eating in it because you're gonna make a mess out of it. And if you do, you are required to clean it up on even under the worst circumstances. Once we're out of the store, we will then go back and we will check out the resort, see what's up, you know? And fun fact, tomorrow night, I have a little surprise for you guys on the beach. Okay, Mrs. Peepers, which one of these cars is ours? Bro, Falcon, do you not understand the fact that people are gonna have the same color cars? Like, yeah, look at that, 2020 M340i, literally the exact same carbon copy as BCT's, only difference is it's not custom wrapped. Look at me, same cat, same color. Maybe a couple years off, but no difference. The car in the middle, though, is ours, so get in there. Don't make a mess, Falcon. We already know you're going to track Cheeto dust everywhere in there, so just don't track any Cheeto dust in there, okay? Ah, yes, we are here now, chickens. All right, now get out of the car. Let's get into the store, and, um, yeah, let's, let's go, I guess. So, let's see. What do, we, what do you all want from the store? Uh, let's see. What are we gonna get? We should, we should get some, we should get some sweetened iced tea, specifically lemon and raspberry flavored. My personal favorites. You're weird, Mrs. Peepers. Falcon, you sit in your room all day consuming Cheetos and Doritos. So shut your mouth. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else should we get? We should also get maybe some chips, not Doritos and Cheetos. Now we have to smuggle those into the house now because of Dorito back there. <clears throat> So, we need to find something that we'll all like. What do we all like? Um, Big Macs. Shut up, Falcon. Don't bring up your stupid side hustle ever again. <clears throat> so, please, just get out of here. Like, get out. Just, just don't talk ever again, please. Like, never, ever again. You know? Um, is there anything else we really need? Like, other than, like, maybe some sweet and iced tea, some chips, and all that sort of stuff? Well, we could just sort of wing it as we get in there. We also should get some, like, food, like, maybe, like, a frozen pizza that we can cook in, like, the kitchen provided. But, yeah, let's go. All right, does anyone need anything from over here, like, at least in this section of the produce aisle? Yeah, I assume not. There's nothing really that we could have over here. Is there Big Macs over here? Ah, <sighs> Falcon, if you talk about Big Macs one more time, I'm gonna report your little dumb side hustle to the local police here. They're not gonna like it, even though it's not illegal. I'll tell them what all you've done, though. I'll tell them your criminal record. <sighs> Don't do that, Mrs. Peepers. That's supposed to remain between the two of us. Ah, <sighs> Falcon, you can shut your mouth. And also, there are... Don't, 
You moron, they don't even sell Big Macs in Stop and Shop. They don't sell Big Mac. They only sell Big Macs at McDonald's, you moron. So could you shut your mouth, maybe. All right, there's everything we need right here. Let's let's add this to our cart. You, what is that, Falcon? You clearly don't know what nutrition is, buddy. You refuse to go to the gym. I've been working out every day. You know, I've been getting those muscles. You so shut up about talking about how you hate this sort of stuff, Falcon. You are just one step away from getting pummeled in the face. So shut up. Hello, chickens. Good morning. Um. Yeah, let, let's get you all your stuff checked out. Alright, let's see all this stuff, man. You got a lot of stuff. You come around here? Nope, we come from, um, the, the land of chickens. You know where that is? Oh, yeah. I have a friend that lives up there. Um, they say they got a lot of snow on Christmas this year. Is that true? Yeah, we're up in Lovey Hills. We got, like, 49 inches of snow on Christmas. Yeah, it was crazy. And then we didn't get anything after that, which is good. Even better. It's been like 70 degrees every day. I love it. Really nice up there. You know how it is, man. You know how it is. All right. So your total is $100.62. Um, will that be cash or credit, ma'am? Or sir? I don't know what you are. Um, that'll be cash. Here. Take this $101. You can take the change. It's just a couple cents. I do not care. All right, man. All right, have a good day. You too. All right, chickens. I still cannot believe I made you guys made me spend a hundred dollars on groceries this morning, but um, it's okay, I guess. It's mostly your fault, Falcon. The fact they had to buy that many bags of chips. I mean, hey, I don't even like half of them. You don't like half of them, Falcon? There's no way just bought you ruffles. Doritos, Lay's, and also, and also Cheetos. I spent a hundred plus dollars on this grocery run, and yet you still don't like half of this. Falcon, you really do disappoint me. I, I expected way better from you, but you're a Dorito man yourself. Of course I didn't expect any way better for you, because like, you are the worst rooster I think I've ever seen in my entire life, for more than one reason. As a matter of fact, when I get home, I'm going to call Miss Grey Cloud and tell her how bad of a rooster you've been. So next time, she knows to make sure that you have no chips when you come over to our house and to lock all the chips up in a ridiculously high-security fireproof gun safe so that way you cannot get to them at all. Because Miss Grey Cloud is just like that. No, please don't do that, Mrs. Peepers. Too late, Falcon. I'm going to call her once we get home. I already put the reminder into my phone. Sucks to suck, Falcon. Now does it? All right, chicken. So um, yeah, it has been a pretty long day. So we're gonna go head out to the resort. It is about noon right now. A couple hours later than I wanted to do to do it. So go into the room. What I want you guys to do is I want you to go into the room, go into the suit, go into my suitcase, and select a towel of your choice. And then we will head out to the resort. We'll go out to the beach first, and then we'll go check out the swimming pools. And then by the time we're done with all that, it'll be nighttime. And then we will watch the fireworks show at night as well. Yes, there's going to be fireworks at the beach. It's going to be a crazy night, guys. So get ready, everyone. All right, go get your, go open up the suitcase and then go grab a towel. And then we'll head out to the beach, okay, guys? All right, chickens, we are going down right now. You can see that right there. We're on floor three. Now we're going to be on floor. We're going to be on the lobby soon. And then once we're on the lobby... We'll then go out to the pool, as you guys probably already know. Okay, guys, so how does it feel being at the beach right now, going into the water? Well, I mean, it feels really nice right now, not gonna lie. Like, I gotta say, I like it out here. Really calm. Not a lot of people are here. Oh, just wait till the fireworks show that evening, this evening, and that will be crazy. Hey, what time even is the fireworks show at? Like, 7 p.m., probably? We'll have dinner right after at, like, 7.30. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. I must say, and it's going really well out here. Alright, I need to find a way to cook this somehow. Alright, let's read the back. So we're going to have to preheat the oven to 425 degrees, and then we are going to make some pizza, yeah. And I'm going to have to cut this up so that way everyone gets a slice of it somehow. Let's do this, I guess. Let's see how well this goes. Hopefully we don't burn down this entire hotel room. What's going on? Mrs. Peeper, I mean not Mrs. Peepers while well, I'm talking to myself, man. I am stupid. BCT, 
Wow, Mrs. Peepers. Hey, shut up, VCT. I've been talking to myself all day. Um, what are you doing? Well, I'm making a, um... Well, I'm making a pizza right now. What, do you want anything? Yeah, fine. Uh, do you think we can have some chips? Yeah, but we'd have to eat after Falcon if we have chips, or he'd have to heat, or he'd have to eat in another room. I forgot how big this hotel room is. I thought this was just a closet, not an entire kitchen behind there. Did you forget this room is like a quarter of the entire floor, so there's more stuff that you haven't quite yet seen. Man, that's crazy. Alright, so what do you guys think of the pizza I made? I think it's actually really good, actually, not gonna lie. But there's one thing that is missing here. You wanna know what it is? Calling Miss Grey Cloud. We need to do that to tell her about Falcon. Oh, you're right. We should actually call Miss Grey Cloud really quickly. Hang on, I'm calling her right now. <clears throat> Hello? What do you want, Mrs. Peepers? Hi, Miss Grey Cloud. I was just wondering, next time Falcon comes over, can you please, please, please put a, all the chips, the Doritos, stuff like that, into a gun safe so he can't get it? Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. We will, I will put him right, I'll put that stuff right in the gun safe. Is there anything else you want me to put in there? Uh, no, that's just about it. Maybe even hide anything else. And if he wants to, he has to attach it to a string and put him on a treadmill. Bro, has he even gone to the gym? Not even a little. He's just gained 16 pounds since he last saw him. What? This rooster. Come on, man. He needs to stop gaining all this weight, man. He's going to have some issues coming up in the future. That is crazy, Ms. Greycloud. Anyways, you got to go get back to cooking with the cluck something. How's what the cluck doing, though? Uh, she is okay. She's not really playing games too much anymore. She goes to the gym now. Uh, she eats pretty well. I'm just... She's living here for a while. She's um she's gonna be going off to college soon, so she's pursuing a great education now. Um, how's it going for her though? Uh, what are you cooking right now? Oh, I'm cooking some very simple stuff right now. I'm cooking like um, I'm cooking some eggs right now. That sounds nice. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, man, this looks nice. Fireworks gonna start any minute now, yo. Look at that right there, fireworks, yo. Look at that. Hang on, bro. Who is that over there in the distance? Yeah, it looks like a very white chicken. I don't, you don't really come across those a lot uh, anymore. Like, really light feathers, really nice feathers, too. Who is that? That, that? I feel like I've seen that chicken before. Like, I just don't know where I could have possibly seen that chicken. The fireworks are nice, but like, where could I have possibly seen that chicken? I feel like I've seen it before. Hang on a second, Mrs. Peepers. Is that Puff? That has to be Puff. There's no way that's Puff, right? I'm gonna go up and ask. Hey, chicken, right here. Is your name? Does your name happen to be Puff? Yeah. How'd you know? Um. We do not talk about that. Hang on. Are you Mrs. Peepers? Yo. How do you know me? I thought you were just Puff. Do you not remember me from high school, yo? Oh yeah, I remember you. Of course I do. You were like my closest friend back in late high school, man. How's life going? Well, I mean, I've been working real estate. I've been making tons of money. How about you? I work on uh, reselling products online, and I work pretty well. I make tons of money. What did you expect? Yeah, I've heard about you that you're making millions up there in the chicken land back where I used to be born in. I flew down here back in 2011 to get out of there just because I just wanted to... Well, 2011, we were still in high school, so no, we didn't fly out there in 2011. I'm playing, I'm playing. We actually flew down here probably in like 2019 or 2020, like not that long ago, really. So like a couple years ago, we went down here to escape life up there and we just like you know we've been chilling here ever since it's been really nice down here um where are you staying i'm staying at this resort here how about you yeah i decided to spend a couple days at this resort uh, before i go back home and key largo i thought you were in key west not key largo well close enough whatever um but yeah i'd say life is going pretty well out here how about for you well i mean um, we do have a rooster named Falcon now, and he's like the most utter abysmal Dorito munching, hot Cheeto munching piece of garbage I think I've ever seen. Like, he never shuts up, doesn't do anything for us, he just sits there and he consumes McDonald's and many dollars in debt. Yeah, I thought I heard about him. I thought he was a pretty bad rooster. Yeah, back in high school, he was that popular kid that like everyone liked and everyone wanted to be friends with, but he's went downhill. <clears throat> Do you not remember his failed rap career in high school, yo? Oh yeah, that was so hilarious. His raps were insanely offbeat. Nowadays, he nowadays he can't even rap that hard. I mean, like, I know another friend who decided to pursue music, and she's doing really well now. How about that, man? How about that? Life has just been going crazy ever since we left, except for Falcon. 
He's just not doing too well. We decided to let him in because I saw him on the side of the street and kind of felt bad. But now I kind of regret doing that. That was like nine or ten months ago now. I'm thinking about just letting him get out of the house. I just don't, I just don't want him here anymore. How do I tell him that? I don't know. Just like tell him to get out. Do you have a spot back up home? I'm thinking about selling the house in Key Largo. Oh yeah, we have a spot for you. We've been waiting for this moment all year. Hey Waldo, I have a nice idea. How about we go down and we go steal some stuff from the local store? What Falcon? Really? How stupid are you? You are the most like pea-sized brain rooster I think I've ever seen. Even the most popular rooster back in my high school was even smarter than you. You make him look like the most smartest thing in the world compared to him, Falcon. What a great idea. Go commit a felony. Great job, Falcon. You're already wanted for many things now. Just add more to that list. Go ahead. Do it. I don't care. It's not my problem. No, no, no. I want you to come along with me. What? You want me to do what with you, Falcon? I am not coming along with you to go rob stores. How many stores are you even thinking about robbing, bro? You're going to rob, like, all of them. Also known as none of them, because we already know you're going to get anywhere past that door without collapsing, because you are like, oh, I, I, need my, I need my Doritos. Oh, shut up, Waldo. We already know that we're not on good terms, but we already also know here that you need to shut up, because I'm going to go rob that place. Falcon, shut your mouth. I don't care what you do, just shut your mouth and never come back. You know what? I hope you rob that store so I don't have to see you again. That that person, Mrs. Peepers Man on the Beach, Puff, is great. Puff, I would gladly replace you with. Alright? I don't care, man. As long as I get to consume 30 Big Macs a day. Ah, uh, yes, another beautiful morning back out on the beach. Hang on a second, where is Falcon? Mrs. Peepers, did you not hear about what happened last night? What happened? He left and he went and go and went to rob a local McDonald's and a Burger King, too. He was arrested on the spot. Oh my, bro, he is stupid. How does he actually get away? How does he almost get away with that? I have no clue, to be honest. He is just an idiot rooster. No brain, no intellect, none of that. He really, really needs to go find a job. How long do you think he's going to be locked up for? Probably for at least a couple of months. If I were to guess, probably over a year. And the best part about it is that he's not going to be back for a while, so we can have Puff in our house now. And that can also evict him now, legally. So I'm going to evict him, like, right now, you know. I'm going to begin that process as soon as we get inside. I'm going to go and get him all evicted and stuff. We are on our third day on this vacation, man. We're already getting him evicted. We have two more days, and tonight is also going to be the concert, man. I cannot wait to just vibe with Puff at the concert tonight with King Chicken and Astro Piano and everyone like that. You know, that's going to be absolutely insane to not have to deal with that moron rooster tonight. All right, so now that we're at the parking lot of the concert, well, how are we going to enjoy this without falcon um it's gonna be very obvious we're easily gonna enjoy this without falcon lovey this is gonna be probably one of our greatest concerts we've ever been to to be honest i've only been to three before how about you puff have you been to any concerts before like two or three maybe not a lot last one i went to was a actually a king chicken concert that one was in um that one however was in texas so that was a that was a nice concert i liked that one yeah, he performed some of his first songs there as well. Tonight he's going to be performing some of his newer songs from the late, um, from the late album. Uh, he's going to be performing just about all of, um, the Cold Winter, whatever it's called, album tonight. It's going to be crazy, man. I cannot wait to see what's being performed. Let's get in there right now, man. Yo, bro, this concert is absolutely crazy, bro. It's crazy that you're saying that because the song that we're currently listening to is called That's Crazy. That is crazy, Puff, bro. This is one of the greatest concerts I think we've ever been to, bro. Can't wait till Astro Piano gets up. That is going to be probably one of our craziest experiences of our entire life. We finally get to see Astro Piano get on there. I wonder how it's going to go. That's going to be crazy. Hey, everyone up here. I just want to say, let's all welcome in the one and only Astro Piano, otherwise known as Astro Blast. Let's go. <laughs>
So, chickens, how would you say that concert went? Oh my, that was probably one of the greatest concerts I think I've ever been to, bro. That was so hyped, that one hour of performance was crazy. Not only did they overperform and everything, they literally just, like, everything just sounded so great. Like, it was just 10 out of 10 performance peak. I love it. This, this is just one of the greatest concerts I think I've ever been to, to be honest. How about with you, Puff? I th I've heard King Chicken perform before, and I don't think I've ever heard a performance that went that crazy before. Like, yeah, the one in, um... <clears throat> Like, yeah, the one in Waco, Texas went crazy, but this one went even crazier, not gonna lie. Like, this one just went insane. Do you know when his next performance is gonna be? Yeah, his next performance is gonna be on May 23rd. It's gonna be being held live over... That one's gonna be held live in the beautiful state of... Oklahoma, really? Wow, that's crazy. He's gonna be performing live in Oklahoma on May 23rd. That is gonna be a crazy one. Do you think we'd actually go? Absolutely not. We're not going that far. Maybe we could watch a live recording of it, but we're not going to go all the way down there. Anyways, I think it is time that we head home. We have two more days of vacation before we leave on day five. So technically, we have one full day of vacation left before we finally leave this place. And it looks like I'm going to have to swap over the... I'm going to have to spend another two grand on a ticket for Puff, but that's okay. We're going to be having Puff get back home soon. All right, what do you guys want for dinner tonight? Well, I say we get some, like... I say we get a burger. Like, how will we all get, like, some, like, sliders or something like that? That's not actually a bad idea, Puff. Let's all get a burger. When the waiter comes over here, we'll get a burger. Hello, may I, uh, get you guys uh, something to drink? Yeah, we'll all just have water. Um, would you like to order your food yet? Oh, yeah, we'll all have burgers as well. Same deal. Nothing different. All right, that uh, we will get you all situated with that. So, have a nice... Uh, night. Let's get you all situated. So, um, have you had this food before, Puff? Oh yeah, this is probably like one of our, this is the greatest, um, restaurant in the area, to be completely honest with you. There's not even a lot of people here, I'm surprised. Usually after concerts here, this place is flooded. I went here like four weeks ago when there was another concert down here. Not a King Chicken performance, but like, there was another concert down here. Um, but I went here, and this place was packed. I don't know how it's not packed tonight. Literally, it's like the night of a concert. That is crazy, ho. To be honest with you, I'm just surprised how packed that concert was. Like, his music doesn't really get a whole lot of attention, but, like, at the concerts, I guess it was. How many people did you think was there? Maybe about, like, 800-some-odd people, maybe 900. It, it was very hype. It was in a very small area, though. That's usually why smaller artists perform there because it's not too much money and not too many people usually come and they usually have like a 900 or 1000 seating limit there so i'd say it's pretty good it's a really nice place to perform live i've actually been to that stadium before to see another musical artist perform live and that went crazy that was chicken master like seven some odd weeks ago i don't know seven or eight weeks ago all right chickens your food is ready oh my thank you man how will our total be? Well, your total will be 162000 Not, nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Your total is just $162.71. Um, alright. Alright, here's your, uh, $200. You can keep the change. Hey, man, thanks. You're always welcome. Hang on, are you the same guy that was at the grocery store whose friend also came from, um, the chicken area? How did you know? Bro, how many jobs are you working, man? Like, how many jobs are, do you work? A lot. You know, I'm, this place is really expensive to live in. I mean, you're not wrong, like, but, like, up in the chicken area, it is not that expensive to live in. Yo, did you hear back up in the chicken area they're supposed to get some snow in a couple days? They're supposed to get what in a couple days? Are you serious? I just planted my garden up there. Well, how much snow? I have no clue. You could check out the news. They'll probably be giving you the, the data that you need, and they'll begin falling once you get back home. Oh, great, 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 man. That, I, I love snow, man. You know how much we love it. You know how much of a vibe killer that snow was on Christmas? I know, it's crazy. We don't get snow down here in Florida, but up there, man. They, they usually get like two to four snows a year, and usually it's like two inches of snow. But I've never heard of... I remember watching the news that morning. I was like, wow, that's a lot of snow, man. And my friend texted me a picture and was like, what? How do you get that much snow in an area that's average high in... December is 63. You know, that's how it goes up there, man. You can check the news right now. All right, you know what? I'm going to go check the news really quickly and see how well things are doing back home.
Well, good evening, everybody. It is your boy. We have meteorologist Rogue here, and we are talking about Winter Storm Chicken Burger now. Yep, we're talking about some snow. After all this time, we've been really spoiled with highs climbing into the 70s. We even had one day back in February where the highs climbed to 92 degrees, which was well above average. We've had many months above average. Like, yeah, we had Winter Storm Abro back in late November. That dropped about two inches of snow in most areas. But then BCT, as we know here, we have the map on screen right now for you. That was one of the worst winter storms we've had in so many years. But if you guys thought this warm weather would just continue till the summer and you're safe to plant your garden, well, think again because Winter Storm Chicken Burger is now entering the picture. If you want to know one thing about Winter Storm Chicken Burger, it's going to be bad. We are talking about probably a lot of accumulation. Now, we are going on the upper end of things here, so we're not totally wrong like with winter storm bct where we were only predicting 9 to 12 inches of snow and on the furthest corners of the area but now that we have some more confidence on this winter storm i can safely say that we will see the storm around there so we'll be seeing this from about march 21st i mean not 21st the night of the 21st in through the evening of the 22nd the heaviest will be from around 9 a.m till 3 p.m so prepare for the absolute worst guys Oh, wow, you know, let, let's just get some snow, man. You know, we love having snow when there's a garden out there that's definitely waiting for us to water it. Yeah, we're going to be back home at around 9 p.m. on um on the night of the 21st, and the storm doesn't look like it will start until around 11. So I think we should be good for that, so we can just quickly go to the store, cover up all the plants, and get everything ready for the storm. And then we'll just go to bed and see what happens. Hopefully we don't get too much. And if we do get too much, I will be very disappointed. Alright, so chickens, would you say you guys had a good day today? Oh, definitely, man. We went to go see the concert and Falcon isn't with us anymore. That's the biggest dub of the day, you know. We gotta make sure that Falcon never comes back. Well, he probably will after a while. Did you see on the news, right, right as they were talking about the snow... They were talking about how he was arrested down here for robbing a McDonald's. Like, imagine... Like, you're in the cell, and the person right next to you literally is like, yo, why are you in here? And then you say, oh, because I robbed the McDonald's of three Big Macs. That, he, he's definitely going to get tackled or something like there. I wonder how he's actually doing in there. Probably not too well. He's probably only in questioning, but he's probably not doing pretty good there. He's probably answering, because I want 30 Big Macs a day. Like, you are gaining weight faster than the speed of light. Um, excuse me, sir, I don't think you should be, um, doing that in there right now. Doing what? What am I doing in here? Um, I don't think you should be fooling around, you know? You should be trying to get some sleep, bro. Bro, you don't, you know I'm not even from here? Did you know how stupid you look? I saw the news from where you were from. <coughs> Spoiler alert. You have a funny news story. The people that were hosting the news story were laughing at you. So, yeah, you have a quite interesting story. Like, you literally are in here for robbing a McDonald's. Like, nothing cool, you know? You better get tackled whenever one of the other people see you tomorrow morning, you know? Seeing a little tiny rooster like you, well, not so tiny, you're, <clears throat> you're like, a, you're built like a Dorito. Um, but when they see you, they're, they're going to be laughing at you, man. You know, you're, you're just, your story is hilarious, you know? It's it's just funny. And also, you're supposed to get uh, 12 to 18 inches of snow back at home. I forgot to tell you about that. But other than that, though, you will be just fine. What we will do is we will release you. We'll fly you back home on the night of the 21st on a separate plane than them. But you will not be allowed to go to their house because Mrs. Peepers, the owner of the house, filed to get you evicted and it went through. So you will be flying back home, but you will be expected to stay in BCT Bridge. They'll be providing you a hotel for one week. While up there, you can get a job, and then there will be a trial after that. So that'll be it. Ah, oh, chickens, what are we going to do here? Like, what do we do? Uh, Waldo gets his own room. That's crazy. Well, I mean, he deserves it. He's very chill. He doesn't really speak too much. He just gets the job done. He does it to the best of his ability. He's never slacked off. There's never been a day in his life where he hasn't slacked off and just did nothing. He runs a successful YouTube channel with well over 600,000 subscribers. He's... He's doing great in life, man. I must say, though, there is one thing I would like to say. If I were to say one thing, it'll be, I really hope Falcon never comes back. Well, I just heard that he's going to be sent back on the same night as us, but he's going to be on a different flight. He's not going to be taking Lovey Air. Instead, he's going to be taking Marin Air all the way back home to the city, obviously. But instead of going, 
He will be flying back to Lovey Hills, but then he will be taxied over to a BCT bridge, and then there will be a trial up there. He probably won't be charged with anything too, anything too crazy because it wasn't an armed robbery, so maybe like a couple weeks, two months in prison. And then he'll probably be sent like to live wherever he wants. He'll probably be getting a job there sometime and maybe, just maybe, he might come back and have lost a little bit of weight, man. That would be crazy. All right, chickens, wake up. Today's y'all's birthday, except for Puff. Puff does not have her birthday until April 27th. But happy birthday, Lovey, me, Waldo, um, BCT, you know, just about everyone here. Falcon, not. I wish him a sad birthday. He's in prison today. That's going to be crazy. So this is our last day here, so what are we going to do today? So our goal today, we're going to go out for um, for the whole day. We're not going to be here till the evening. Then we're going to watch the fireworks this evening. And then we're finally going to... We're going to stop and we're going to go get some ice cream. And then we're going to we're gonna get some sleep so we can wake up. We have to wake up tomorrow at 7 so we can hop on the plane. That leaves at 9 so we can get back at 9. I had to reschedule our flight just ahead of the snow. And they just did actually up the totals this morning. Now they're calling for... 15 to 25 inches of snow instead of that originally forecasted like 6 to 18 so i think it's gonna be pretty significant have you ever seen snow in your life puff i think the most i've ever seen is like five inches that one year like last year of high school that was the last time i remember seeing any snow before i moved down to key largo five inches was the most I, it was more like four and a half it doesn't really matter though that was crazy like actually insane all right, chickens, so what we're about to go do is we're about to go head over to see if we can get a breakfast or something like that. And then once, so we're going to go get some breakfast, and then we're going to go just chill at the beach for like maybe an hour. Then we're going to go out, and I decide we're going to have ice cream this afternoon so we can then see the fireworks show. Because I paid, I just paid last night, I just found out you could do this, to get a fireworks show custom for you. So there'll be fireworks that'll say our names and happy birthday on them. So this will be... One of our most craziest fireworks show I think we've ever seen here. Fireworks every night is already crazy enough. This is going to be at around 9 p.m. So, guys, you should get ready for that. Let's go out and get some breakfast, you know? Okay, now this water is nice. The fact that it's really warm today, like almost 80 degrees, is crazy. This is going to be our last bit of warmth before we come back home. Hey, what do you think the weather is right now back at home? Last time I checked, it was 43 degrees. It's gonna, that's about as cold as it'll get today, so we'll have some time to go prepare for tomorrow. It's gonna be a disaster, but enough snow talk. Let's talk about the beach, man. How's it going out here on the beach? It's nice. Puff, why are you up in that tree up there? I'm about to jump into the pool. Not Genius, it's called the ocean. It's called the Gulf of Mexico, actually. Hey, shut up, Puff. Stop being a smart with me, bro. You're, you're at least more smart than Falcon, though. You have more competent brain cells. That rooster has nothing for br his brain is just like a Dorito. Like there's literally just a Dorito and a Cheeto puff in there, and that's pretty much all you get. Nothing else. For brain, he has a Dorito and a Cheeto puff. It's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna jump in right now. Damn, bro, that was crazy. You know, man? I love jumping in, man. You know you know how it is. It'll always be like that. Um, yeah. Let's see how it's going out here. Going really nice. How about you, Waldo? Well, I mean, like, it's, it's alright, man. I mean, I'd say it's nice. Have we even gone to the pool yet? Or, like, the Lazy River yet? Uh, a little bit. We haven't gone too much. We should go check out the pool in a minute. And then we'll go and get some ice cream. And then we will come back, probably. We, we might even do a little bit of hiking. I think there's a trail somewhere over by here that we can go do some hiking on. You know, that's not actually a bad idea, Mrs. Peepers. You, you always suggest these great ideas. Falcon over here suggests that we go to the local McDonald's. I heard him through the through the room. Our walls are paper thick, Mrs. Peepers. Yeah, well, though, I forgot. I, sh I should really add some thickness to your walls if we're ever going to have him back in the house again. Um, But there is a thing, though. I must say that, like, um... I must say that he does say a lot of stupid stuff in there. He literally said he'd have much more fun going to the local McDonald's than down to Florida. 
Like, what's so fun about going to McDonald's, bro? Like, you're just ordering food. You're just talking to chickens. You're not, like, actually doing anything exciting. So, uh, what do you think we should do out here in this pool? Well, obviously, I'm going swimming. It's not too deep, so you can't, like, do any diving or anything like that. But what we can do is we could just do chilling out here. Uh, I think we can only have, like, a couple minutes in here, obviously, before we can go get some ice cream. And then we'll come back probably in the evening after taking a quick little hike, man. You know how it is? That's always how it will be nowadays, man. That's... That's crazy. Hey man, I kind of like this, man. This is this ice cream is actually really nice, man, you know. I got to say this ice cream is really good, man. 10 out of 10 ice cream here. So what are we going to do after this, Mrs. Peepers? Well, we're going to go take a hike out in the woods. We're going to see what's out there, you know. And chill out in the woods. The hike is probably going to be nice. The views are going to be great. I cannot wait to see what's going to end up happening out there. And then we'll come back to the resort in the evening hours. After having some dinner, the hike will probably be like two to four hours, keep in mind. Then we'll go have some dinner, and then we'll like just chill at home for, you know, a little while, and and then we'll go out and see the fireworks, go to bed, and then uh, the vacation is going to be over. By the way, guys, there will be another vacation on June 27th, 2024, because we're going down to go celebrate the chicken's birthday, believe it or not down in Connecticut, so we're going back to the United States pretty soon, by the way. We're, we're just going to be back for a while, and then we'll have to deal with the snow, so are you guys ready for that? Absolutely not. Nope, not even a little bit. Um, I, I agree with you chickens. The snow sucks, you know. It sucks. Awful. A disaster in the making. Dang, you know, this forest looks really nice out here, not going to lie, so, you know, this this is just nice, man. I don't know how, to, uh, how else to talk about it. This just looks insane if I don't say so myself like look at how picturesque there is the sun shining through the trees how long does this take as I said like about two to three hours it's a loop around it's a u-shape we'll see a waterfall we'll see everything over here man this is gonna go crazy you know this is just insane you know like you know I love it so much this is crazy man like look at this this just looks crazy I love it out here man like I don't know how else to explain it. Like, it's so dark in here, but also the sun is shining. It looks very nice. I like it in here, man. This is just so tropical. I love it in here. This is crazy, you know? I don't know how else to explain it. Hey, you know, Puff, there is some better words to explain it in here, and it is called not talking. Man, you, you don't have to be that rude to me, Mrs. Peepers. You know, it's crazy. Man, my Puff, you, you really do humor me sometimes, man. Uh, but yeah, some words to describe this place are picturesque, nice, easy to take a photo, and also a nice place to dump Falcon. You know, if if we still had Falcon, this would be the place where we just leave him and just run away. Ah, oh, so this is the waterfall you speak of. Oh yeah, this is definitely the waterfall that I speak of, you know? This waterfall looks nice, man. Are you snapping pictures back there, BCT? Of course I am, man. We gotta get all these pictures in. So that way when I get back, I can look back at this and say, man, it looks so nice down there. Man, I, I miss it when it was 80 degrees and there wasn't a foot and a half of snow on the ground. Man, I miss it when the garden was alive. And man, I sure do miss, and man, I sure do not miss Falcon. Wow, BCT. Falcon is just the center of, of discussion now, I guess. It's crazy. Well, I mean, it looks like the sun is beginning to set a bit back there, if you will. So I guess it's like, I guess it's fine if we begin heading back, right? Well, right at the end of that road is our car. Well, I think we can't really just turn around now at this point. That would be a big waste of time, and it would be like 9 p.m. by the time we actually get back that way. So, either walk five more minutes or walk four hours and five minutes. Yeah, we decided to take the weird trail. If any of you guys are wondering why we spent a long time on this trail, uh, yeah, we'll get into the car. We'll then go get some dinner. What do you guys want for dinner? Um, let's see. What do we have around here? Can we go check out that pizza place over there, man? You know, it's not actually a bad idea, man. Let's go check out that pizza place. Then we'll go and watch the fireworks and head to bed. We don't really have too much left to do down here, man. That's crazy. All right, chickens. We all got to get ready to order. All right, there's our waiter. Hello. Oh, my. How many stores do you work at, man? I mean, restaurants. How many places are you working at? I don't know. This is the second time in a row I think I've been seeing you, man. Well, I mean, I work at, like, every place here in, like, Key West, man. You know how it is. Did you hear about that snowman? Yeah, you told me last night. Yeah, no, but did you hear they up the totals? They Yeah, last time I checked, it was, like, 15 to 25. Nope, they rolls them to 20 to 30 now. 
Oh, great. L let's just watch this be a dusting at most. They're all just overhyping it. Yeah, I mean, you should check the uh, Winter Storm watch right now. You'll be very shocked to see what it says. Oh, my... <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, alright. That I, I'm gonna pretend like I did not just see that. That is scary. Like, that is way too much snow, man. I, I do not need that much snow. Like, actually, though. Like, bro, how much snow do we need? Not that much. Alright, um, but in all seriousness, though, we're gonna be ordering, um, we'll all just be ordering a water and a burger, like always, man. Alright, sounds good by me, man. You know how it is, you know? All right, guys, gather around. We're waiting for the fireworks to begin. They should be good any minute at this point. Let's see. Let's go. I think it's just a couple more seconds. And there we go. Yep, they there they are. They're going off now. They are going off, man. This is going crazy, you know. I kind of like this. This is crazy. I don't know how else to react. Puff, what's your opinion on the fireworks? I mean, I saw them the other night. They were crazy. I love them. See, I love my fireworks just as much as I hate snow. That was a horrible analogy, but you get what I'm trying to say. Are you sure that wasn't even an analogy? Oh, sh shut up, BCT. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice fireworks show, man. 10 out of 10. Actually, 11 out of 10. Because it displayed our names on there, man. Happy birthday, chickens. Anyways, let's go get some sleep, man. We need to get some sleep. We have a long day ahead of us. But you know what that means. I guess it's time for a travel montage. You know how it is. Okay, fine. I guess one more time we could do this. So chickens, how did you guys enjoy your vacation? I mean, it was 10 out of 10, we got to meet a new friend, and we got rid of Falcon too, man. This vacation is everything I could have ever possibly dreamed of having, man. Thank you for the vacation, Mrs. Peepers. You're very much welcome. Also, now I don't think you can, you don't have to be called Mrs. Peppers. How about you, Puff? 10 out of 10 vacation, man. I got to see you again, and on top of all else, we got to see the fireworks show, and I got to see you guys at a special time of the year as well. So, happy birthday, man. Well, happy late birthday now. And hopefully the snow doesn't stick. Yeah, they, they're, they're still holding on to that 9 to 20 inches, which sucks, I guess. But I don't really care to be honest. Okay, everybody, do we have everything we came with here? Uh, yeah, we do, believe it or not. I got everything here. How about you, Puff? Well, I got everything here, man. It's actually freezing cold, man. What's the temperature right now? It is 39 degrees, so it is getting pretty chilly, but it's not going to snow for another, like, two hours, so we have enough time to go hit up tractor supply and go get some blankets for the garden. Let's go do that really quickly. <laughs> Okay, Puff, so this right here is going to be your room. As you can see, I had to do a little bit of cleaning right before we left, because they planned on doing this for many months. I cleaned up all the Cheeto dust, I cleaned up everything, and I even got some new technology to put into this room for you. Uh, we'll be installing a TV soon, um, so yeah, I hope you like it here. Man, this room is actually nice, knowing that it's not covered in Cheeto dust anymore. Did you, like, replace all the bed sheets and stuff? Oh yeah, it's the exact same thing, I just replaced it a little bit. It's really nice, not gonna lie. So yeah, I really hope you like it in here. Um, yeah, let's see how much snow we get tomorrow night. I would be very surprised if we get anything more than a dusting. 
you know, this is just absolutely great, man. You know, I, I love it when we get 26 inches of snow, man. You know how it is. You, you, we love this stuff, man. Sarcasm, man. How's your opinion on this, Puff? I mean, it's all right, but like, I, I've seen. It's cold, but I don't care, man. This looks nice, not gonna lie. Only issue is that it's causing some issues, man. Uh, let's go in and see how well some other cities are doing really quickly. Hello, everyone. In the wake of Winter Storm Chicken Burger, we finally finished out. We will only be seeing maybe another quick coating of snow. Not a whole lot, not a big deal, not the end of the world. It's gonna be something quick, simple, that we all will... Maybe not all of us will like. I mean, there's been some mixed reactions to this late storm, but fortunately temperatures will be warming up back into the 80s next week, and we will be seeing a melting trend really quickly. We just have to deal with this for one more day. Most people went out to tractor supply last night, and they went out and go got and w went to go get some stuff. Some people actually had to travel all the way out to BCT Bridge to go get some of the stuff that, to cover up their garden. Um, well, let's get you some of those snowfall accumulation. Uh, the worst came out of Lovey Hills going through BCT Bridge. They find BCT Bridge finally got some snow, man. They, they've been slacking recently, but you can definitely see they did get some of the biggest accumulation, and this was definitely a pretty interesting storm, if I don't say so myself. <laughs>